Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. As you see, we're already into the Crash of the Titans. I think I'll back out of this and start over. We've got so much to do and we have to get it done fast because as of today, let's go ahead and exit this one. We have a new reset to the latest legendary store. Take a quick look. We have Havoc has rotated into the latest Legends to join Mr. Sinister and Beta Ray Bill. And if you move over to the Classic Legends, you'll see the picture of Carnage on the, um, on the submit button down below. And he is now a Classic. So we're going to get ready to do some draws. I think what I need to do is pull every token we have on hand right now so far in other stores. And uh, we'll, we'll do some action as well in the DDQ and stuff. And then um, some pretty pretty cool teams here, including the Hard Node, the Behemoth Burrito is a lot of fun with MODOK. So we'll play those battles, get everything we can in submitted and characters uh, leveled up, character rewards for the champion levels. And then we'll see where we're at and then I think I'll make a separate video where we will draw the up to over 375 tokens in the legendary draw um, to beef up Beta Ray Bill and Havoc uh, to get some levels on Havoc and Mr. Sinister and I can't wait to get into that we've been waiting a really long time and I haven't had over 6,000 command points forever so we're going to get into that but today in this is going to be just a warm-up video let's jump into the action I think what we'll do here is start with just a let's start with a, just a two star team star team run through this wave node and um, let's see let's make a challenge here with bullseye and let's go with bagman for fun and then how about a uh, different color character in let's go with aries the uh, there's two green users here but this should be fun or should we go you know what let's go with let's make a real challenge here with moonstone she's got a actually a decently hard hitting red and uh, her black how am i going to use her black we'll use yeah we'll we'll try to make it a challenge to play bullseye's black ability in this matchup all right so i think what we'll do is take on uh, this guy first we'll save the um yeah we'll take on the shinobis first we'll save the taisatsu or however you pronounce that for last Extra move. Got to get these battles out of the way, guys. I might have been able to set up something better, but it worked out to an extra move with yellow. Got the first guy knocked out. Beast comes in. Let's see how many total draws we can get up to after today. I forgot when I grabbed Moonstone, I actually was going to plan to play Bagman's Purple. It's a very expensive ability, but it allows you to do a tile swap, and it uh, essentially neutralizes whatever tiles you choose to swap so they can be enemy specials. It's very handy, actually. It just costs too much, and uh, you're never going to plan to have Bagman in too many matches on your team, so... Let's see, here's a decent move. I really want to make that red match, but this is a good black to blue combo. And I'm a huge fan of Bullseye's green ability. We're doing uh, really pretty terrible on accumulating green, so I don't know if we're going to even get that played. We get a chance here. Nope, we're going to take the match four. Match four in green. I was hoping we could get a red down there by the countdown. It doesn't look like it, but we should be able to take this guy out. Have you guys made any draws in not only the latest legendary store, but did you also see that we have a fan favorites store open right now? And uh, I meant to show that as we scrolled past. We'll talk about it more a little bit when we do our tokens, but it has some of the best five-star characters in that store um, completely as possible. They're, the, they're, they're just the best. 
So what do we do here? Probably we have our blue for Web Slinger. That might be helpful for a countdown we can't get to. So we'll plan on that in a second. I just want to try to get green. I like Moonstone's purple sometimes because you can move an enemy special tile exactly where you want it to go and make a match based on the color. Or if there's no enemy specials out, she does pretty good damage, destroys a tile, and can set some crazy stuff up for you. One more. We are now all of a sudden we got a rush on green. That's looking good. Okay, so who controls that covering fire? I think it's the guy in the back, the hitman. We can cycle around and see how the... Um, did you for, ever forget how the countdowns kind of flash when you cycle to the character that runs, that operates that one? So let's do this. We're just going to take him out with a shot from Photon Blast. Get our character effects on. Double check. I thought I did that. And... Pretty big hit from Moonstone on her red ability, and I have it set at cover level 3. It depends on how many red tiles are on the board when you play it. So if you qualify it and then wait a little bit to play it, it's usually pretty strong. Let some reds add back up to the board. Black and white. Ten green. There's a green down below. I think we'll take the match four here. And finally... Let's move over to, this guy has more of the, let's see, wait a minute. No, this guy has the blue that's ready to go. Just do them all. Wrap them in a, in a cocoon, and it's basically a lock tile, so you can't swap those anymore. Probably should have played Bullseye's Green before that, so... Um, let's see, I really want to do something cool with his green to set up some matches in black, and then I, I really want to play a big match with his black ability. This is taking way too long, guys. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's do the switcheroo with, let's do it. We'll play the switcheroo with Bagman. We'll swap a black tile over there. Where is a black tile that a purple would do well in its place? I guess right there is fine. Nice. We have our black ready to play, and this could be a pretty good time to do it. Yeah, let's do it right now. Check this out. Let's go to this full health guy at 3,200. Play Murderous Aim. I have it set at cover level 5 so that you get two different critical tiles instead of just one. Overwrite those tiles. Watch these crits and the damage that it produces. A full knockout of that 3,200 health enemy. Very cool. All right. And now we'll play... Deadly Precision to line up maybe some red matches for Moonstone. Sometimes you can use that to create critical tiles and then play Bullseye's Black to, to have even more crits lined up. And for fun, let's play Snarky Remark. It's actually a pretty handy team-up. You play it on any countdown, yours or the enemy. And it uh, increases the counter by quite a bit. It looks at uh, web tiles on the board and, and adds it up so much. Let's try it again for fun. When is the last time you've seen an 11 count countdown? I don't know if we're going to get a tile swap in good shape or not from this. Not bad, and the win. Okay, fun, weird team. 
definitely not a powerhouse team unless you can get Bullseye going or run really well on red for Moonstone. Let's go on in and... I was going to do this node with three stars. I, I am a fan. You know what? We have to do it. We'll, this will be a lot faster, so trust me on this one. Let's go down and I want to grab the featured three star is Psylocke. And a lot of people don't like Psylocke. And you know what? I don't know why. I think she's a pretty good damage dealer. And yeah, let's do this. Let's run Psylocke with Beast. And then I'm also wanting to bring along Falcon. I think they'll be a pretty solid team let's go for it okay so the idea here is to go for blue for beast and then I'll obviously red for Psylocke I don't think the enemy's gonna take that red match right cool let's actually go this way now we have two different team damage abilities, and let's go here. And Falcon's got some really good passives. There we are. We're lucky with green. That's excellent. We have... Psylocke's black ready to play. I strongly suggest if you can try to get her red played before you play her black. And you don't have to, but it really adds a lot more damage to the board for every ability you do after that. There lines up a red. Are we going to get it? Okay. All right, so Doom is a tile-moving character, so we need to move it. There's a red up above. Not going to work. All right, so this is taking too long. Let's go ahead with... Man, we just really need to get blue for this team to work effectively. So you get this the uh, three different special tiles from Beast on the board. That'll line up red. It's going to change blue to black. Not good. Takes our chances for blue away big time. I wasn't able to speed that up fast enough. But here we go. All right. Oh, this is great. Perfect timing. So let's go ahead and hit Doom with a Psychic Knife. Decent damage, but the Strike Tile is just absolutely very strong for a 3-star. A Max Champ 3-star. We could hit him with this extra move, but let's go over to a full health enemy. Just in case we get some good matches, and we did. Now, with that strike tile on the board, we can play Bird Strike from Falcon. Team damage plus a lot of protect tiles on the board. Wipes out most of those guys. And Deadpool joins us. Now let's play Psy Katana. That strike on the board, it's going to deal pretty good damage up front. 1,700. We can play it again, but let's do this first. Animal inside. Do we have a blue special tile on the board? We have one. Luckily enough, Falcon got us a, a blue protect tile, and that's perfect because Animal inside will do the team damage, but also destroy random tiles, and you get yeah, a lot more damage onto it. There is an extra move on the board, and I see it with the red. I'm not going to do it because the strike tile is a lot of damage. On top of animal inside. Look at that. And if we get any yellow matches, Falcon... Yep, there it is. Yellow match for inspiration. Steps up the value of our special tiles. And look at the values with these three stars. We, we uh, really didn't even run that perfectly well but this thing is already over thought that one might run well but i just wanted to point out a, a fun three-star team if you haven't done that in a while it's worth it if you have time got our psylocke cover all right so our next two battles will be the behemoth burrito will take on that team with a modok central team that's going to be a lot of fun and then again we'll get into the crash of the titans but before we do that let's just do our tokens and our character levels and we'll save those highlight fights for the end 
Honor Among Thieves uh, is the new event coming up. We'll do the daily draw. Some of you guys might have started it. I usually play Slice 4 or 5 on the time frames. There's a Karnak in here. I would love to get that. X-Force, Wolverine, and Venom are fine as well to go for. This Taco Vault is tempting. I usually save up for quite a while, but a um, couple of the newer four stars in here. And, of course, the Legendary. So we might do that over the course of the next few days. Thickest Thieves, a bunch of tokens here. We're going to go for that Nova cover. And then Nico and Miles would be great. And, of course, hey, three-star Daredevil. We can get that Legendary token. That's not a hit. That's a misclick. Here we go. Try to do the fast method so we can keep these moving. And a Deadpool. Beginner support token. I finally decided what we're going to do with that. I'll touch on that in a little bit. Another support token. Honestly, we have, uh, you know, a couple of the highlight items now. Another Daredevil. He's in here multiple times since he's the featured essential character of the event. Can we get any more three stars before we're out? Yeah, there it is. Yes, Patch Wolverine and the daily discount draw is just a two star. Cool, ran pretty well there. Not bad. The Heroes for Hire is interesting. So Magic is the current event, and we'll get into that. And then it looks like Invisible Woman is the next one coming up, so level her soon if you need to. There's that special pack for Captain Marvel and the 7,000 hero point purchase for Jubilee and Modoc. Moving on here, a couple of Web Slinger leftover tokens. So this is our warm-up, guys. We're getting ready for our big... It's, it's a big horde for me, and um, should be able to get a new 5-star champion uh, after, after we... Uh, not this video, but we'll do it in a separate video. There's the Fan Favorites Vault. That's the, the store. That's the one I was supposed to show you guys earlier. And, man, this is a good, this is a really good deal. You have Okoye. You have Kitty Pride. And Doctor Strange is really pretty good. He doesn't get a whole lot of play, but you do see him out in versus action. And he is quite good, even in PvE, of course. And this isn't it on the four-star realm. They actually have boosted rates on the favorite four stars that I'm not sure if they did an actual player poll or not. They, they do ask us who we like, but I'm, I, I don't know if they just look at usage, usage statistics or not, or if they go by uh, fan favorite polls and stuff like that. But X-Force Wolverine's in here. That's one I'm, that stands out to me. Of course, the character's popular, but is the actual four star in MPQ that popular? I don't think so. But you could definitely say... That Bishop and Worthy Cap get played a lot. Uh, Chavez and uh, Carol, of course, Rockin' and Groot. And so those guys have boosted rates compared to normal four-star characters. Now, you see the, the, the multiplier. That is um, how, how uh, often you'll get those compared to the other four-star characters. So all of them are in here. You're just more likely to get those other four-stars. I'm not going to do any draws today. Based on, on the horde pull that I do, we'll see if we come back and do some of those later. And then on the supports, I decided to absolutely wait for the next rotation. That should happen in about a week. And then, hey, we can start to finally pull those. And uh, the next rotation looks like it'll help my total uh, support roster than, than uh, what uh, the current set will do for me now. So we'll come back to the latest legends in a little bit. Let's pull the rest of these tokens, starting with the elites. Do the multi-pack here. Three-star starting off with Mystique. Got a Thor. More Deadpool. And Doom. Not bad. I'll take it. Heroics were up to 17. Pretty good odds of getting a four-star since those are 1 in 16. Hit a Ragnarok right away. We have three-star Doc Ock as my favorite right now, and Karnak will be my favorite for a little while. Don't know if I need to put Maria Hill as my favorite. I don't think so. 
unless they bring back shield training and then I run into a spot where she's not ready, leveled up enough yet. Three star Thanos. I like Karnak a lot. He's a lot of fun. He's also boosted in the current set of events. There's the four star. Now we're rolling. Three, two, one. That is Ant-Man Purple in all of my years playing this game. That might be the first time I've ever pulled his purple. I always got blue and yellow from tokens. How cool is that? That uh, remind me that uh, I can't ever say again that I've never gotten his purple. But uh, the only way I got him champed was earning his purple from event rewards. I've never pulled that from a token that I can ever remember. Very good. Okay. See if we can get anything else in gold here before we're done. Nice hit there on Scott Lang. Come on, gold. Let's hit one more. Daily draw is just a two star, so now we're going to pick up the luck on the mighty tokens. We'll do, we have 29 of these, and might as well do 14. That'll leave us with 15. Remaining, let's go. Might get a couple of four stars here. And definitely good shards. There's a four star. All right, who's it going to be, guys? Three, two, one. Look at that. Spider-Man 2099. Nice hit on a new character. Cool. What? I'm uh, sorry, I went too quickly on the button. We got back-to-back -back Spidey 2099s. Wow, that is crazy. Um, you guys want to look up the odds on that, knowing that there's well over 80 characters available. And we hit him, uh, hit, wow, hit two in a row. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Probably going to get all three stars from here on out. That's fine. Fair enough. Blade Electra. Where did I say we were going to stop? At 15, I think, remaining. She Hulk. Rags and Sentry. Looks like we're going downhill now. Oh, nope. Doctor Strange is good. I actually don't hate Ragnarok. Some people really don't like him. More Deadpool. Sentry has certain situations where he's fun there's a gamora and our last mighty token of the day is a cyclops not bad and that that hit on cyclops makes sense because we're going to be going for havoc and they just might be brothers so um we'll be going for havoc in the next video let's level up our characters then we'll come back and do our last couple of nodes for today we're going to get all the resources we can so that we have as many draws as possible going into the next one. And we just hit shield rank level 197. Got some ISO we can claim there if we need to. I'll probably wait on that. Hopefully we get more mighty tokens as well. But mostly looking for command points from the two stars. Hero points are good, of course. And heroic tokens, I like those a lot. That's it for the twos. I have a bunch of two stars, but nobody's ready to level up yet. It sounds like I have to do some rebooting soon. Okay, three stars. Where are we at here? That's a bunch. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Don't let me forget. We have three three stars that we need to champ. Hey, a four-star Nova from that Doctor Strange that worked out really well. Ragnarok with the 266 level and the legendary token. Told you I don't mind Ragnarok. Now I have to rebuild him here pretty soon for that follow up cover. Create a duplicate. Everybody's giving ISO. We don't need ISO very much anymore. So Deadpool, Thanos, and one other, is it Kamala? Somebody like that, is, are the uh, 
characters we need to champion up today. We'll do that at the end of this one. Good run on Daredevil covers. Might have spent a lot of shard favorite shards on him, not knowing he was going to be an event reward. I leveled up, I think, four shard levels on him. There's another legendary from Spidey. Do we have more? Yeah. Miles shards with uh, Iron Spidey shards coming up next. Is that it? We have to reboot Hulk and Iron Fist. I actually messed up and I had an Iron Fist cover expire on me, guys. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> Not good. Let's go to the four stars. And this is great. A couple levels on Nova. From Event Rewards. 250 hero points there. That's awesome. Legendary at 360. Next, we'll definitely... I mean, we're going to get that from all these draws. If you draw over 300 tokens, you're going to get, on average, you know, somewhere around three or more levels on each of your four stars. Somewhere around there. Miguel goes up to 298 and 299. Too bad we couldn't get three in a row, right? The odds on that would have been pretty out of control. Ant-Man Purple gets the command points. Hits level 354 with 5-star Wasp shards coming up next. Got Nico covers and a few shards to apply. 7 command points from that. Level 346. And that's it. Don't have a 5-star there, but we need to go and see what we have for shard level characters. Okay, Nick Fury, we can take him up a spot. And a bunch of levels on Doc Ock. The reason was, yep, I wanted to push him up past 227 to get that legendary token. And I'll leave him on until we hit the next level. Then I'll probably take him off. He's at 77 out of 300 shards. So that'll be a little bit. No problem. We'll save the shards on those two. And good thing I didn't forget. We have three star characters we need to champ. It was Kamala. That's the one um, of the few we needed to champion up. Spend the ISO. She's got a bunch of saved covers. Here we go. She's uh, all the way up to level 183. That's a perfect number because once we get up there, I believe it's charged for a four star. Oh, it was uh, Medusa at level 183. I clicked it a little too quickly, but that's great. And I think I'm going to do this. I'll forget later if I don't. Switch her purple up to level five. Cool. All right. So how many levels are we going to get from these other two? We'll do Deadpool next. He goes up to level 166. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Nice. I had some of his covers in the other area. Shards for Domino. That's part of the re revision they made to Champion Rewards. Lately, I like it. And Thanos. I think this is the fourth time I've champed three-star Thanos, I believe. And he rushes up to level 186 with all these saved covers. So we're going to get shards for four-star Thanos and a cover coming up for Spider-Woman. Nice hit. We'll go back and add those in. Need to make sure we get everything possible. Is that it for the three stars? Yes. Okay. Spider-Woman goes up to 337. Just ISO, but uh, command points next. And Medusa, my one of my few four-star rebuilds, and she's a champion, Goes to level 282 for a little more CP. We're up to 6,075. Very cool. Did we get any other? Um, nobody else can update, right? We checked the four stars. Nobody but Rogue. We're waiting on her. 
and the fives have just Professor X. I really like the new shard progress bars. So it allows you to just scroll through quickly and see where you're at. And Akoya is getting close. That'll be about 34, 35 draws from legendary level tokens, and she will earn a cover that way at three shards each. Okay, so everybody's leveled up. Let's get into the last couple of fights, and then we'll end it there for today. And um, stay tuned. I'll have the next video might be up right after this one, or, uh, or, or it might be up within a day. But we're going to do 375, up to that many draws for legendary characters. Let's go into the MODOK battle. This should be pretty fun. Sorry, I need to move that around sometimes okay so i think whenever you're against red hulk i kind of leave him for last so i know what we're running into for ap and stuff like that throughout the match so i can plan my abilities there's an extra move on the board let's take on iron man if he gets lucky with yellow and builds up with the recharge that will not be fun to deal with all the green that red hulk will get now, you usually want to match a critical tile whenever it's on the board to save the damage for yourself, and so the enemy doesn't get it, but there's a, a double red combo. That's just really good. Yep, and there we took the critical hit. It's really good to get red going with MODOK. Let's, uh, man, there's a triple move combo, but we have to take this match four. Maybe they'll do something and leave it for us. They did. Okay. So with MODOK, what I really like to try to do is if you just happen to run lucky on blue, then you want to play that early on. But um, we have a chance at blue, but I really have to get this match here. See, there's, there's a triple combo only if you start with this tile down on black. It lifts the red up, and then the red and white will each match after the fact. And, of course, we get a couple of other random matches, too. Darn, they took that blue, and they got a double out of it. So the reason you want to go for MODOK blue first is because it's a really pretty strong hitting ability for Doomsday Plan, and it doesn't cost a lot at 7, but you want to play it first because you, it um, has a really high countdown, and if you have other abilities to play after that, it can count it down right, um, right pretty quickly um, right away if you have enough. So we'll go for blue here. And now you look at the board. There's just no blue left, really. So let's just go ahead with uh, hammer for every nail. Puts attack tiles on the board. That might prove to be pretty, pretty strong attack tiles against Iron Man. Hope to get him out in a couple of turns. And... This looks all right. There's red spread out in a certain way. Let's go for this. Let's play Afterburner. I have this at cover level 3. It does direct damage. It does more damage at higher levels. But uh, it, it puts enemy attack tiles on the board. Red ones. And then it adds red to the board where you have a chance at matching away the enemy attack tiles that you just created. Pretty cool ability. But um, the only thing that's better than that is the animation. It's just so funny. Cool, it did work. We got uh, at least just one match, but it set up a nice match four in red. So we'll do that to take out Iron Man. And now we're looking good. We have 12 red. Don't want to damage Red Hulk. He's going to do that seeing red passive and uh, deal damage and get some cascades all the time if we keep letting him be up front. Can we get any blue? I just don't see it. So let's do this. Chisel for every stone deals 1667 damage three times. That's hmm, that's going to hit Red Hulk, isn't it? Let's get more red. Let's try to play all our uh, each one of our red abilities. And there's just no blue, guys. I really wanted to try Maybe this will line up a blue match. They did. Just barely. Now we're looking good. Okay, cool. 
All right. So, doomsday plan. You get to choose what where you want this tile, and then that also means what color it's going to be. I'll pick something like that. Fortified. And now you see it's a really high counter. Let's play another afterburner. Maybe we'll get more matches in red. No automatic matches. That's all right. Doomsday plan counts down. Chisel for every stone. This does big damage. Three random hits. Can't control where it's going to go. Doomsday plan counted down again. After we play needle for every stitch, it's countdowns. But just playing it is going to uh, force our doomsday plan to come to fruition. And here it is for the big damage. Cool. And those countdowns do a lot of damage too if you get far enough. And after that, the next red ability is a laser. It was just a one shot of pretty uh, decent damage from red as well. Okay, two more CP from that, and here's our last battle for this video, and uh, this is gonna be a tough one here. Let me know how the cra this Crash of the Titans has gone for you guys. The new character, Wolfsbane, I think she's pretty good, and when people start leveling her up to higher, uh, to higher levels, you might see a little bit more of her. She's only level 200 in this match, and we get to take her on with magic. And in my in my case, I ran pretty good on magic covers. Do I say the word pretty too much? I think I do. I, I definitely do. You can let me know in the comments. Um, I know I say it again before we're done. Level 303. And magic's going to do pretty good here. Ding. <laughs> Didn't take long, did it? So we want to try to keep purple and red away from Wolfsbane. That's probably why... We were set up in this match. We're going to fight over those two colors. On top of that, Wolfsbane's black is a very tough ability. It will allow her to go invisible. And that's going to be hard to deal with. Let's see if we can run. Ouch. She just got a bunch of purple up to six. So now, no matter what, if there's purple on the board, we're going to have to take those matches, even if it means she gets red. And then... Her red is an inexpensive ability. She can already play it for a cost of six. It'll deal damage and then create some strike tiles. Ouch. So, need to really get a run on purple. And I like Magic's purple because it creates a repeater tile that adds a whole lot of red to the board. So, when you play Magic... Going for purple is much more important than trying to get red right away. Since it builds the red for you, you don't have to work as hard toward it. Got a good match with those strike tiles. We'll take those out. And, man, she's running way better than I want. People are saying this has been a really tough crash. And... I absolutely believe it. So we did get our purple, though. That could be the difference maker here. And uh, you really want to play it when there's not a lot of automatic available purple matches on the board. Right now, there's hardly anything for purple. So that's very good. We'll play Ruler of Limbo. Kind of cool she's on that levitation disc or whatever you call it. Let's go for red and blue here. She's played her purple, which is green countdown tiles. They each do a lot of damage and have uh, countdowns one separate per turn. So we're going to take a hit here, mostly because I really want to take this red. 1100 each countdown. Can we... I can do a match of the next green. Probably a pretty good move. There's a, a purple matchup above that I'm afraid she might go for. But if our repeater gets matched away, it actually creates some strike tiles, kind of as a bonus for you. Let's do this. This is a red-green-white combo. Oh, that was great. And big damage, and she goes invisible. <laughs> so here's the problem. Right when we got our red ready to fire... She is invisible. Now, sliced 
Sorcery is a great ability because it does a bunch of things where it can remove enemy specials, it does a really a high amount of damage, and it can remove countdowns, but it doesn't remove invisibility tiles. Yep, should have waited to play. I just wanted to make sure. Now, when we play abilities, we get protect tiles. I think it's just going to be a little too late, and we'll probably have to start this one over. Well, the projectiles are strong enough to earn one point of damage. Hmm, can we keep the protects safe enough to work out that protect uh, the invisibility tile? Oh man, this is going to be tough. Okay. I want to do black. Let's do black this way so it separates those out. Oh boy, this is so close. Um... she gets blue she could line up a red match for us black is really dangerous i don't see a way to get that invisibility tile lined up yep but she has three her invisibility only costs oh well, we can't look at it but it only costs six if i do this blue blue match to the right it'll line up black but i if she just gets enough black to go invisible again. Oh, Rick. It just doesn't help. <laughs> Are we going to lose this one? So we keep her invisible. Make her match that away herself. And while she's visible again, we may have a chance. Hmm. So maybe she'll take yellow. Line us up with red. Working. Need to get purple or red going. At one point per turn, we have 572 turns remaining. <laughs> oh man. Those might do more damage than my protect tiles are worth. Don't have my red or purple. Magic's abilities are a little expensive on the expensive side. This is a close one. I don't know that we're going to make it. The black is lined up for her invisibility, but I just don't have any offense ready to go. Oh, this is taking too long. I can't match it because if I match it, she'll just play her black and go invisible again. You understand the difference uh, that I'm stuck with here? And I, I have a purple match lined up. She did... Oh man, she did become visible again, and if I had two more red AP, we could end this thing, but um, I think it's over. We got our red. Look, oh man, unbelievable. She's going to be pretty tough. Let's try it again. There's just so much black on the board, and I can't avoid all of it. That's, that's, that's tough. That's really tough. But I played my red early. I could have waited. That was probably That's probably the key. We'll do black this way. Kind of separates those out. Uh, no, not good enough. So her black costs eight. Is that right? Oh, man. How could we lose that one? I haven't lost very many crashes, but when you lose with a champed character at level 300 plus, you're up against a pretty good opponent if that happens. Ouch. I don't want her to have a lot of purple, and there she just got a mountain of it. Hmm. I have to get my abilities played for those protectiles sooner, but there's just... You spend so much time keeping her away from wind up black. Oh boy. It's not going well again. Got some purple. I think 
Thankfully, she took out a bunch of her own countdowns. This blue match will take away her invisibility. So I don't want to do that again because she has black ready to play again. Big red match. Nice. Can we do it this time, guys? I don't know. I'm going to keep that match over there in case she does it. She's, oh, she did the red. What am I going to do? I'll take our purple. Finally have that qualified. Okay, purple looks a little scary to play. There's our countdowns. Now if we can just get some lucky red spawn from our repeater. Hmm. That messes things up. If I take that red or if she takes the red, it, well, it's okay if she takes it. I'd, I want the red, but I have to let her take that match. Oh boy. Perfect. Got a free match in red there. She could do blue the wrong direction. She could. Let's qualify our red. We have it. She went for the throat. She became visible. Just in time. That one took a lot of planning. That was a fun, that was a really fun Crash of the Titans, guys. Let me know how it's going for you guys. That's a, what I call a barely a win. And that's another legendary token. We can finally get done with today's run. And let's take one last look at the tokens. Here we go. So we're going to do this in the next video. This whole, uh, the whole part today was just a warm up going into the latest Legends draws. With 6,077 command points and 141 tokens, we're looking at oh, somewhere close to 380 total draws. That is great. We're going to do a separate video only of those draws, and by the end, we're going to champion any five-star characters that we get enough covers on to do that. We definitely should. I'm looking very forward to um, building up Havoc. I think he's going to be a lot of fun, and I personally think Mr. Sinister is also going to really start showing up more in versus action, and I think he's probably a little bit better on defense than people are giving him credit for. And everybody knows Beta Ray Bill is awesome. So thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button that you see right now if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel. We're going to have a lot more subscriber-only content going forward. And the new five-star character has been released, and we covered that character early with the ability set, and it was a lot of fun getting that out to you guys and talking about it early. Thanks so much. See you next time.